Only on Cairo 7, a Puyallup teenager is telling his story tonight after he was confronted by an escaped inmate. That inmate forced his way into the teen's apartment and demanded a change of clothes and a phone. Cairo 7's Gary Horker is live at Puyallup's Good Samaritan Hospital. What a story, Gary. And that hospital there is where police say the suspect made a run for it. All started pretty close to where I'm standing, Monique. Police say the inmate was able to escape from Good Samaritan Hospital right behind me when police brought him there to be treated by a doctor yesterday. But it turns out they were not guarding him at all. He was wearing an orange jail outfit. He ran through here down this hill and waited in an apartment building and met a high schooler who had just gotten off the bus. I got up to the stairwell. And I looked up and there was just somebody sitting there. At first, 17-year-old Noah Enyer didn't realize the man following him up the stairs was an escaped inmate until the man forced his way into Noah's apartment. I wanted to get away from this guy, but when I tried to get inside and close the door, he had pushed against the door. Puyallup police tell Cairo 7 the inmate, who'd been arrested for theft and had warrants from other cities, was waiting to be treated at nearby Good Samaritan Hospital. But when he was left unattended, he took off. And then he sort of explained what, was, what his deal was, like, hey, I had just escaped from jail and I need a change of clothes, I need to get out of here, like, I'm on the run. Now Noah was thinking a step ahead of the inmate when he demanded Noah's clothes. So I gave him some standout, like, a pop art backpack and like green polar bear pants and things that would be very I easy to identify. Noah's strategy worked. His description to dispatchers helped police chase and take down the inmate within minutes. Why wasn't he in handcuffs and how was he able just to run away? Noah's mom, Roxana, was left with questions, but she says her son's actions are heroic. I'm very proud of him for just keeping cool, doing as he was told to do, um, and not freaking out. Um, he did everything right. He said he would pay me back. Like he would come back and pay me in cash. I refused. I said, don't come back. Noah says he learned something about himself. I'm, I'm glad I kept my cool. It's a happy ending. We're back live here, folks. Police told me if a suspect is arrested for a misdemeanor crime and is not violent, they're generally not guarded at all at this hospital. Suspects instead sign a paper promising they will not escape. And until tonight, to be clear, Puyallup police were not totally aware of exactly what kind of role Noah played with the home invasion and calling 911 and taking down that suspect. But a detective called me tonight, promised they'd follow up, and as a result, that inmate may face felony escape charges and home invasion to boot. We'll keep you posted. We're live, meanwhile, outside Good Sam Hospital in Puyallup. I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News.